We've all heard cases of people winning millions in lottery money and spending it in extravagant and sometimes downright bizarre ways. However, not every lottery winner surrenders to the pitfalls of sudden wealth. There have been lottery winners who turned their millions into billions. Others used their wealth to make an impact on society and very few who chose to stay grounded. Here are 10 smartest lottery winners that ever lived who defied odds and made their money work for them. Number 1. Brad Duke In 2005, Brad Duke, a former fitness trainer and a financial advisor, won $220 million, approximately $354 million in 2024, in the Powerball lottery. Unlike most lottery winners, Duke did not rush out to buy luxury mansions or cars. Instead, he set a more ambitious goal and devised a plan to turn his millions into a billion-dollar empire. Duke's approach was methodical and strategic. Using his expertise in financing and consultation with other financial experts, he meticulously planned his investments. He used his millions to develop a diverse investment portfolio that could offer him both long-term and short-term returns. Duke invested $45 million in low-risk ventures like bonds and $35 million in high-risk assets like energy stocks. He also founded Duke Family Foundation in 2007 with the goal of helping those around him. Duke's strategic and diversified portfolio yielded him great results. As of 2024, his net worth sits over $1 billion, making him one of the most successful lottery winners in history. Brad Duke's story is a great example of how discipline, strategic planning, and financial education can yield great results. Number 2. Richard Lustig Unlike Duke, who won $220 million in a single go, Richard Lustig accumulated over a million dollars through multiple smaller wins. His story is rather unique in the world of lottery as not many get the chance of winning multiple lotteries. He religiously bought lottery tickets for two decades and managed to win them seven times. Even though his largest win was $842,000, he still managed to accumulate nearly one million dollars. Following his successful lottery campaign, Lustig developed a calculated approach to winning lotteries, which he shared in his best-selling guide on winning the lottery. In the book, he explained his tricks to winning lotteries and reinvesting the money into other ventures. He died in 2015 with an estimated net worth of two to three million dollars today. Even though this is not an astronomical figure, it is still impressive considering his gradual and strategic approach to winning multiple lotteries. While Lustig and Duke made money for themselves, the next one decided to give back to the community. Number 3. Lorraine West Lorraine West made headlines in 2018 when she won a staggering $343.9 million in the Powerball lottery, which is approximately $423 million today. However, what truly set her apart was the way she spent her money. Instead of diving deep into the ocean of luxury purchases, West founded the Callum Foundation in honor of her late grandson. The foundation helped support causes such as veteran services, education, and poverty alleviation. Her collaborations towards making the society better was substantial and immediate. She donated millions of dollars to various charities that made a difference. Her foundation helped several underprivileged communities across the United States. Despite her significant philanthropic contributions, West still has an estimated net worth of 50 to 60 million dollars. While she has donated a major chunk of her fortune, she still has enough wealth to live comfortably and continue her philanthropic efforts. Her story is proof that one can contribute generously while being financially secure. Number 4. Francis and Patrick Connolly in 2019, Francis and Patrick Connolly won 114.9 million pounds, or $155 million on the Euro Millions. Unlike those who focused on increasing their fortune, the Connollys took a different approach. They generously donated more than half of their fortune to family, friends, and charity organizations. They did so as they believed in giving back to society. The Connollys established several charitable organizations and donated millions to projects that supported education, healthcare, and community development. They also shared their wealth with their loved ones, ensuring that they also benefit from their fortune. Even after such hefty donations, today their net worth is estimated to be $30 to $40 million. 
Their story is not just an example of wealth, but about how money can be used to uplift and support others. Number 5. Peter and Angela Daw In 2011, Peter and Angela Daw won a staggering 101 million pounds, or 130 million dollars in the Euro millions. Rather than merely enjoying their riches, they invested their winnings in social enterprises, with a heavy emphasis on education and community projects throughout the UK. Dawes saw this fate as an opportunity to give back to their community. They rejected personal luxuries and invested heavily in organizations that focused on education and community projects within the UK. They also established several charitable trusts to flourish education and provide opportunities for the youth. They didn't give away all their money in charity, instead they invested some of it in real estate and other sustainable businesses. Their strategic efforts have not only helped society, but have also increased their wealth to approximately $150 million today. This shows that you can grow your money while improving the lives of others. While others relied on luck to win the lotteries, the next one used simple math. Number 6. Stefan Mendel Stefan Mandel, a Romanian-Australian mathematician, pulled off an incredible feat by winning the lottery multiple times. He used a methodical and mathematical approach to winning by crafting a careful formula that included every possible combination. Over the years, he managed to win the lottery 14 times by buying large quantities of tickets to cover every possible combination. After winning the lottery, he left Romania in the 1960s by escaping communist regime and moved to Australia. After reaching there, Mandel perfected his strategy and won multiple Australian lotteries, including a $27 million jackpot. He wisely invested his profits in real estate and commercial activities, amassing an amazing net worth of $20 to $30 million. Mandel's biography demonstrates the remarkable power of intelligence and smart preparation in achieving great financial success. Number 7. Marie Holmes In 2017, Marie Holmes, a single mother of four from North Carolina, won $188 million in the Powerball Lottery, which is approximately $153 million today. This win was life-changing for her, but she didn't make it all about herself. Instead, she used this wealth to improve the lives of others. She used her funds to establish Marie Holmes Foundation, a charitable foundation that focused on supporting underprivileged communities. Holmes also donated millions of dollars to her church and other causes close to her heart. Despite some controversies, including legal issues especially from her ex-boyfriend, Holmes has stayed committed to her goals. Even after such significant charitable donations and personal expenditures, Holmes still retains an estimated net worth of $20 to $25 million today. The next couple would shock you with what they did with their money. Number 8. Cynthia Stafford In 2007, Cynthia Stafford won $112 million in the Mega Millions, which is approximately $162 million today. Before winning the Mega Millions lottery, she was a single mother struggling to make ends meet. However, when her lucky numbers came up, her life took a dramatic turn towards the better. She gave a huge chunk of her money to her brother and father and invested the remaining amount. She used a portion of her winnings to start Queen Nefertari Productions, a film production company based in Los Angeles. Stafford also invested in real estate, purchasing several properties in the area. However, things didn't turn out good for her as she currently stands at a net worth of $500,000 as she lost a lot of money to bad investments. Number 9. Joan Ginther Just like Richard Lustig, Joan Ginther used mathematics to her advantage to win millions. Ginther, a former math professor with a PhD in statistics from Stanford University, won her first big jackpot of $5.4 million in the Texas Lottery in 1993. But she didn't stop there. Over the next two decades, she won the lotto three more times, in 2006, 2008, and 2010, for a total of more than $20 million. Ginther's accomplishment was not solely down to luck. She diligently studied the data and used it to her favor. Despite the media frenzy around her repeated victories and the interest in her tactics, Ginther decided to live a peaceful and uncomplicated life, mostly shunning the spotlight. She eventually relocated to Las Vegas, where she kept a low profile, prompting many to question the true scope of her lottery-winning techniques. Number 10. John and Lisa Robinson 
In 2016, John and Lisa Robinson of Tennessee were one of the three winning families in the $1.6 billion Powerball jackpot in 2016. They both won a combined total of $528.8 million in the Powerball lottery. Despite their huge victory, they continued to live modestly in their small house, making few large expenditures. The Robinsons avoided any flashy purchases, which were pretty common with lottery winners. Instead, they only focused on spending their money on the things they needed. They initially paid off their mortgage, purchased a new car, and helped out their friends and family. They also invested some of their wealth to gain some additional benefit from their money. Their estimated net worth of $100 to $120 million today demonstrates that it is possible to remain grounded despite significant riches. Their story is a testament to how you don't have to change your life dramatically if you win the lottery. The stories of these smart lottery winners can reveal the diverse paths humans can take. Whether it's multiplying their fortune, giving back to the community, or living a modest life, each winner's individual journey gives us valuable lessons in managing wealth.